All right, now we are gonna work on this example together. Okay. Two 500 gallons uh, tanks. Normally, you may remember this type of problem from section 1.4. And in that section, you're only having one tank, right? But this time we have two tanks. Okay, let's try to draw the picture of it. Uh, okay, yes. Okay, now we have two tanks. Let's say this is tank one. This is tank two. This is too long, okay. This is tank one, this is tank two, okay. Now, all right. And it, they both have one gallon of salt solution. And solution with two pound salt per gallon is pumped into T1. So we are pumping a salt solution to T1. And what is the concentration? So concentration is uh, equal to two pound per gallon, okay? All right, and for, from an external source at the rate of six gallon per minute. So, and the rate here is six gallon per minute. Okay, and similarly, uh, we are also pumping another a solution to T2, okay? And concentration is, uh, one, so concentration equals one pound per gallon. And the rate is, rate here is five, right? Five gallon per minute. Okay. All right, so what else? Solution from T1 is pumped into T2 at the rate of two gallon per minute. Interesting. So let's make a hose here. So now solution from T1 to T2 is pumped, right? And what is the rate? Two gallon per minute. Maybe I can make it straight here so I can have space to write the rate. So this is two gallon per minute. And solution from T2 is pumped into T1. So we are also pumping from here to there, okay? And what is the rate? The rate is one gallon per minute, one. And of course, normally you can, we have to consider these, uh, ho these pipes, these hoses on the bottom. That's why they can uh, pump from one to another all the time, okay? But let's assume that this is also the case, but all right. And this is not all, by the way. And both tanks train at the rate of three gallon per minute. So these guys are draining out. And the rates are same. Three gallon per minute and three gallon per minute. Okay. And let Q1 and Q2 be the number of pounds of salt in T1 and T2 respectively. Derive a system of differential equations for Q1 and Q2 that is valid until I think it's about the overflow. Okay, now we would like to find differential equation for Q1 and Q2. In other words, we would like to find the rate of change of the salt amount in both tanks, okay? All right, so dQ1 over dt. And if, if you remember from previous section, I mean section 1.4, how do you find the rate in this setup? Uh, it is rate in times concentration in, right? Minus rate out times concentration out, okay? So what is different here in this setup than the previous section, section 1.4? For example, if you look at T1, there are two plus, there are two ins, right? This is in, this is in for T1, and this is out, and this is out for T2, T1, right? So 
I have two, two in here and two out here for Q1, okay? So, okay, let's start from the, uh, this one. So rate in times concentration in. So six times two plus, I'm adding plus because these are all, right, increasing salt amount. And another in part for T1 is this one, right? Concentration uh, rate, rate in is one times. Okay, what is the concentration in? What is the concentration of the uh, so, uh, solution that's coming from T2? And in general, how do you find concentration? It is uh, total salt amount over total volume, right? So total salt amount is Q2 over, total volume is, uh, initial volume is 100, right? Plus, and if you look at T2, again, there are two ins, two outs, right? What are the ins? This is in and this is in. So I have to include in first, five plus two minus, this is out and this is out, minus one, minus three, T. Okay? I'm adding T here because it is changing by time, right? Okay. So these two are both rate in part, minus rate out times concentration out. And again, there are two outs, right? This is out and this is out. But what is different here is, uh, the concentration of these two outs are same, right? Because it's about the concentration of the T1. That's why, uh, let's consider them together, okay? So rate out will be three plus two, five times, and concentration out is the concentration of T1. And it is again similarly, Q1 over 100 plus, and what are the in again? Six is in and one is in, right? So six plus one minus two is out, three is out. So minus two minus three, T. All right, I am done. So let me rewrite this. 12 plus Q2. Uh, let me make it closer to me. Divided by 100 plus five plus two is seven minus four is three. Three T minus five Q2 over 100 plus six plus two is six plus one is seven minus five is two. two T. Yes, DQ one over DT is this guy, okay? As you see here, it has Q2 and, ah, oh, this is Q1, right? Sorry, it has to be Q1. It has both Q2 and Q1 in it, right? Now, similarly, what is DQ2 over DT? Again, I had to check rate in concentration in. So, and in this case, again, there are two ins, right? This is in and this is in, they have different rate, different concentrations, so I have to consider them differently as I did in the previous case. So let me start with this one. Rate in is five times, concentration is, is one right here, one plus. And here again, rate is two, two times. And concentration in is again, you have to look at the concentration of T1, right? It includes, Again, the salt, total salt amount is Q1 divided by, and what is the volume here? It is here, already here, right? 100 plus 2T is the volume. Minus, okay, what are the outs here? Uh, this is out and this is out, right? So these two guys are out. And again, they have the same concentration, so I can consider them as a one out and the rate will be three plus one. So it's four times. Uh, concentration out is this concentration, right? Q2 over 100 plus 3T, okay? This is the 
second differential equation. So we represented, we modeled this physical process using these two different first order differential equation. And they have the same independent variable, which is T, right? Okay. In the next videos, we are gonna, I'm gonna show how to use this uh, idea, this, you know, using the system, how to use systems of uh, differential equations to solve higher order differential equations, all right? All right, so let me stop recording.